Welcome back to another food chat episode of Vulcan Alpha. So we're doing things in reverse here. We're showing you the food first. Fantastic sandwiches that you can buy in bakery at Rewe in Adenau. So we're going for chicken and egg because gains. But today a massive update. There in the truck we have a CNC machine from Mechanica that we ordered a few weeks ago or maybe a, bit a month and something else ago because Aside from the regular CNC machine, we asked if we can have a higher Z axis so we can do lots of mold cutting. I'm sure Lapo will jump in for a quick comment in a second and I can nom my sandwich in the meanwhile. Lapo, mm -hmm. so why did we go for CNC machine and not C and field machine or C and here machine? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Lapo, yeah. if the CNC won't fit because there's a speedster here, I'll be very pissed at you. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> no, don't. Don't say that. <laughs> I mean, well, when, he, when he gets it like per perfect, you have to give it to him, you know? I mean. Go down, mission. Down. Down, down. We need to put it under. Yeah. I need to stay hydrated because from all the tears that I'm crying of all the money I'm spending on all of this. <laughs> so what do we will be using this for to tell our audience? So basically we're gonna use it to do panel cutting, prototypes, uh, maybe molds. Uh, I need to get used to it, how, how it works. So at the beginning it's gonna be a 2D cutting and then we're gonna go into contouring and everything else. So we could do flat bottoms, we can cut uh, end plates for example. Maybe if people want a cheaper version we can do maybe aluminum end plates for a cheaper market. Or flat floors. Or flat floors, carbon flat floors, aluminum flat floors. Uh, we can cut prototypes, we can cut molds. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much endless. Cut my and molds into pieces. <laughs> this is my flat floor. <laughs> <laughs> we um, had this really high Z height, mostly because we want to be able to cut molds. So usually molds are require depends on how deep you you do, but 200 millimeters is not that uncommon. And if you have maybe wood MDF or um, maybe tooling board or uh, XPS foam, you can cut easily your mold, and then you can layer cut carbon uh, from one of our uh, suppliers who can send it to have. Uh, carbon laid up and you have a cheap mold uh, maybe if we want to do one-offs like mm -hmm. body kits we can do of course for example a fender it's not only 200 millimeters maybe it's a bit more maybe it's a bit less you can stack them yeah you can glue them together and make a deeper mold mm -hmm. so, nice yeah. exciting what's going to be the first project you will be cutting on it probably the polo probably the polo yeah polo flat floor of Vika aluminum they custom made a really high z height for us because it's something that they didn't offer but if you guys need a CNC table with a really high Z height, maybe you can contact them and... Uh, yeah, because I'm sure they have now already all the specifications yeah. to make it possible. Yeah. And yeah, basically a massive shout out to the guys at Mechanica for actually accepting a request from some weird up startup yeah. in Germany requiring to modify their <laughs> machine and stuff. They invited us over, gave us a very good walk around and yeah, now we have this. So I'm very much looking forward to yeah. see it in action. If you need some CNC, Cutting? Of course. Let Ask us, us send us the DXF or whatever you need and we can cut send it. Send us you. what? DXF file. Oh, I thought send us big. big. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, no, but if you need anything, you send us an email and we can have it cut for you. While the guys are setting up the CNC machine, there is mail time. Yes. And these and tape can hint you what it is. You know, actually, when I started doing vlogs, like in 2016, after spending 2015 watching Casey Neistat's, he had always, I think every Wednesday, he was doing unboxing and mail time. And I was thinking, one day it would be cool if people are gonna send me maybe something, we can do some sort of unboxing stuff. And here we are. So, Hyundai reached out to me after the video with the Ionic 5N, asking if they can send me something, or if I would want to pick it up during the 24 hour race, uh, if I didn't want to disclose my address. Obviously I said you can send it to Vulcan Alpha. Now obviously it's also far more later after N24. 
The reason for that is because this came all the way from Korea and it was stuck in customs. So I'm looking forward to unbox it and see what it actually is. Fresh merch. Fresh merch. Hmm. Did I put too many of X's? Because I'm not too XL. Mm. Sad. Try. Try, we'll try. I need to double check the email. And otherwise, we go full 90s hip hop spec. Or, of course, maybe they are small sized. Oh! Actually, I think it's not bad. Perfect! <laughs> Remove before flight, but then never just drive. Yay! Ta-da! Looks badass, actually. And then there's a shirt. I'm pretty sure Maggie is gonna confiscate this jacket from me anyway. And, actually, we have something sick planned with Hyundai. I don't know if I can tell you, but we're working on something to do something in I think you will. If you know, you know, and we're working on it. It's not happening and I didn't say anything. But if you're watching the second channel, you have now the insider, so in four. Big wings, yeah. Oh, we have also Ionic 5 fan sticker pack and a key ring. So here we have Dick Seth file of our Vulcan Alpha logo that we will be test cutting, CNC cutting, see and hear, see and feel. You can only see and hear through the video because see and feel is not invented yet. That's gonna be like next gen 5D VR probably. On that note, let's get to some cutting. You saw how messy it became just from cutting wood, which is of course messy. So now we hooked up the vacuum, right? Uh, so now you can see here we have the dust connection kit and uh, you'll see how clean it's gonna stay. It also sounds like, like a siren from war. Fast forward, the machine is installed. We bought like a very quick, low quality wood for a test. I want to keep keep saying test print, but it's a test <laughs> cut. <laughs> test cut, yes. Yeah. So obviously for a proper wood cutting, like for splitters, we'll be using like proper wood. This is just to see if it works and it works. But let's mention maybe a bit more about the specs of the machine. You saw how massive it was that it arrived here with the truck. It actually, as you can see, I'm here very far away, hello. This shows like almost three meters long, but the working space is up to 2.7 meters long and 1.3 yeah. or 1. Point, yeah, 1. 1.3 1. 1. 3, yeah. 1. 1.3 wide. So as mentioned, our intention is for here is not only mold creation, but also doing flat floors, of course, not out of complete piece, but most of the times flat floors are done in multiple sections anyway. Mm -hmm. So this will give us the opportunity to do such. A thing. Aluminum cuts, carbon fiber sheets, uh, foam molds, creation. The Z height axis is 200 mil, mm -hmm. whereas the usual stuck one is 150. It came, as you can see, with additional suction to have less of a mess here. <laughs> Which works wonderful. Yeah? Yeah. Without the vacuum assistance, it created a mess. And then mm -hmm. we, because of course we have to uh, film it, and then when we hook it up, completely get, yeah. get rid of any dust. Yeah, that's nice because my main concern was because sometimes with CNC machines you have, you have additional option of, of like the enclosure mm -hmm. of like extra a cage around it mm -hmm. and for the big one it, it's hard to get an available. I'm like, hmm, will that create an extra mess? Of course, there'll be always a bit of a mess, but mm -hmm. not that much. This bundle here, it's I believe the base price like for this is like a third 18,800 euros uh, with the standard Z height. Ours is a bit more because of the custom Z height, but I think it's one of the most competitive CNC machines yeah. on the market when it comes to price-wise. And you can probably confirm from engineering perspective, you get a lot of 
product in return for, yeah. the, for the value. But for me, most importantly, is that communication with Mechanica guys was tremendous from the first emails. They invited us over to their showroom. We checked the, the a couple of possibilities and they agreed to make like an extra, like the tailor-made Z height for us. So mm -hmm. for me, like for any company that worked over the last decade in the car industry or industry in general, the product is of course important, but the proper contact with people and the customer service is I think even like more important from my perspective. So this was fantastic, this was amazing. The UI is really user friendly, everything is very, let's say, I'm not saying simple, but it's simple to use. Uh, you can control the machine with this pad basically, mm -hmm. and with a USB or you can connect it, which is very, very easy. And I'm not like a super CNC guy. Mm -hmm. I'm not like uh, I've worked with them a, a little bit, so I'm curious to see and learn how to use it and uh, yeah, create some stuff with it. And aside from that, their customer support is amazing. I want to say like uh, on their website, you can have a lots of manuals and tutorials how to operate it. If you're a novice, they can also help you out. They also come with a five year warranty. We're going to do our best to put it to a test and uh, hopefully you guys uh, help us out to put it through a test. So if you have something as mentioned previously to CNC cut, whether it's a mold or flat floor or whatsoever, reach out to us here at the Nebukring. I think we've been talking for quite a long time. So stay tuned for future uh, upgrades, updates and products that we'll be making with this. I'm very excited and uh, yeah, like I guess that's kind of it. Yeah. So on to the next video.